Okay, Stephon Diggs, superstar receiver for the Buffalo Bills. He missed the voluntary minicamp yesterday. Now, he's back today, but keep in mind, during the chaos of yesterday, he posted some cryptic tweets. And now, all of a sudden, he's present and participated at camp. Quarterback Josh Allen said he and star receiver were working on some things and added the issues had, quote, more to do than just football. Shady, you played for the Buffalo Bills. You were an all-pro for the Buffalo Bills, multiple-time pro bowler. You know Josh Allen. You know the organization. Is it time to get off the Bills bandwagon? I'm going to say no. I think with that type of coach, Sean McDermott, Brandon being the GM, they always consistently bring good players in. They have that culture. I've, I've watched when I was a Buffalo from, from when I got there yep. to when I was leaving, he had that thing in line, right? And then you got a quarterback like Josh Allen, who was top three, top five in this mm -hmm. league. Yes, sir. Stephon Diggs, top five uh, a wide receiver. They have the players in place. And it may take teams longer to, to get over that hump. I mean, we, we've seen teams that take longer to get over the hump, and I think it's taking them a lot longer. So I'm not going to jump off that bandwagon. I'm actually going to stay on the bandwagon, right? They call it circle the wagon in Buffalo, <laughs> and I'm staying on course. As you should. You played for the Buffalo Bills, and so you should stay on that bandwagon. Joy, I got to be honest, I am officially off. Oh, you going? I'm off. Um, we have the sound, and I won't ask the audience to run the sound for the sake of time, but last year I said Josh Allen will win MVP. I said the Bills will win a Super Bowl. For the first time in a long time, I said it'll happen. Joy, the reason I'm off now is because I look at the team. Leslie Frazier, defensive coordinator, he's gone. He's an important part of that team. Y'all know I played uh, defense. I love defense. Micah High, Jordan Poirier, safeties. They are brilliant. Both 32 years of age. Von Miller, I think he's 33, going on 34, coming off an ACL injury. So when I think about that defense and what it was, your DC gone, your safeties are aging, and your future Hall of Fame pass rusher, who you acquired to take you over the hump, is aging and tore his uh, ACL, if, yeah, ACL injury last year. I'm off of it, Joy. I want to stay on the bandwagon. I desperately do. I want to see Buffalo win. I wanted to see Buffalo win last year. But now you add in all this drama? Like, how are you mad on the first day of minicamp? It's supposed to be sunshine and roses. Mm. And you mad already? Well, they're not even bad. Mm. Like, you ain't even got a reason to be in a bad mood. Joy, I'm done with it. I hope you're not. But where are you? Here's I'm what's happening. We're sick of picking them to win the championship and them not getting to the championship mm -hmm. or getting to the AFC championship game. We're tired of picking Josh Allen to win the MVP and him not winning it. It's just picking fatigue. Mm -hmm. They have their 37 wins in the last three seasons, ranked second in the NFL behind only one team. I bet you can guess who that team is. Pretty good, though. Kansas City. It's pretty good. They're pretty good. I bet if I told you there was a team that had a really great physical player and they kept going to the postseason and, and then like they'd lose and like the Western Conference. And then they make it back again, and they win, they lose in like the second <laughs> round. And they make it back again, and they just didn't quite get there. And then they win the championship. And we just watched that a few days ago. Yeah, uh, yeah different sport, but yeah. you know, building yeah. things, building yeah. blocks. Yeah. You get there. I'm not ready to jump off the bandwagon. I'm not saying I'm picking them to win the Super Bowl. I'm also getting tired of doing that as well. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to pick Josh Allen to win the MVP. But they're still a pretty good team. They still have a lot of experience. Still got a lot of regular season wins. That's a tough division. But they've been dominating for quite a while, and as you know, you got to win your division first. Here's my issue, though, Slick, is Point. that wasn't a tough division when they were dominating. Mm. Tom Brady, he chunked the deuces. The Jets mm. didn't have a quarterback. Mm. Tua Tunga Vailoa was being benched for both Jacoby Brissett and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Mm -hmm. That was the time to own it. Yeah. For the last three years, I would have said blindly, I will pick the Bills to win the division. This is the first time in a long time where I'm like, Hey, the Dolphins and the Jets got just as good a shot as the Bills. I wanted them to own it when it was as easy as possible. Yep. But and they it's did, difficult didn't they? again. They did. I mean, if you got to buy to the playoffs, so you win your division, they have, all you got to do, all you got to do, you got to win one, you got to win two to get to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Now they got to get to the playoffs. Now mm -hmm. I can't count that as a lot. Slick, where are you on the Bills? Uh, jo uh, Joy, what do you tell us? When we get new information, we got to take it into consideration. You do. And so I I'm, simple I'm looking at it as simple as this. Okay. I've got Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, and Patrick Mahomes. Am I confident that they're on the same page? Do I think that there are any issues between them? Nope. No. no. Zach Taylor, Jamar, K uh, Jamar Chase, and Joe, uh, Joe Burrow. Do I feel like there are any issues in that triumvirate? Not that we and know how of. vital not that we, is not that? Not that I know right? of. Okay. Josh Allen, Sean McDermott, uh -oh. Stephon Diggs. Oh. <laughs> Are we on the same page? I don't think any oh. of the three are. How are we, we going to get past those other teams if we're not on the same page? 
Well, there's a lot of, I mean, you know, there's a lot of time to get some That's my new though. information. <laughs> I mean, but, but, but we are in June, though. Yeah. We are. We are in June. That makes it worse. I, I know that makes it no, worse. No, 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 no. There are of... more bumps in the road coming. You arguing in June? Bro. Come on. You arguing in June? Bro, arguing over about... something that happened last season. We arguing in June. So y'all, y'all telling me that. That's like arguing on your honeymoon. From How you arguing on your honeymoon? right now. How you arguing in Bali? How you arguing in Maldives? First, How you arguing in Santorini? Hmm. How are you arguing Bora Bora? Why are you just naming like, all the I can throw some out there. All the places he's been to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Hey. I'm with you, Shay. It's a lot of time. That's, you think that's, that's nothing, though. It's a lot of time. You're better. It's Lake a lot of time. Lake Como. We're arguing. You're arguing in Lake Como. Where they do that at? How can you do that? Like, how you arguing? You know what I mean? Like, I just don't get it. This is wrong. How you arguing in Nicaragua? Yeah. How you arguing in Spain? <laughs> how you arguing in Costa Rica? I don't argue nowhere with nobody. You, I just don't get it. How you arguing in Hawaii? Like you arguing a lot. I do be arguing. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.